Hi, this is The Good Life coming to you. And today I have finished my Simplicity 8654-1940 Vintage. This is it right here. I did this version. I did A and C, the top, and I did the skirt right here. And this is it. This is made out of fabric from a curtain. It was an easy sew. I was impressed with this. But one thing about it, you're cutting out the um, lining. You're cutting out the lining. So you can be cool. You can have the front bodice, another um, color or solid. And then you can have the back bodice, bodice something else. Okay. It's already lined. Okay. And the shoulders and stuff. So it was tricky how to make this. What it is, because it was lining, you had to take the bodice, turn it outside in, and then with the inside, the right side up, you have to stitch on the sides. And then you turn it upside down, um, back, and then you had to stitch it in the inside too. So I had to do it that way to, for me to understand the pattern. So I like that. And then this is the skirt right here. The zipper, it fits nice. And I love the back. The back, yeah, it fits nice and everything. I'm going to San Francisco and I'm going to cruise on the um, um, Alaska Cruise Line. And this is our day trip outfit. This is my day trip outfit. I really like it. I was impressed. I am going to wear a tank top because I am too old to be revealing. This hits you right at your breast bone. This is very revealing, but with a tank top or a t-shirt, it looks just fantastic. And also, I want to share some of my um, simplicity. Um, I received, I got a Joann's for a dollar ninety-nine cent last week. And I got this one. This is Simplicity 8609. I love this skirt. This skirt was debuted in a Simply Sewing magazine in, in um, Britain. I love that. I love the um, tops to this. I love that. I can't wait to make that. Then I have, this is a new one, 8534. Look how gorgeous is that. Look at that. And here's the back drawings right there. I really like that. You all going to like this. This is Outlander um, 8411. Dig this. Isn't this gorgeous? I can't believe I got this for $1.99. And look at the back line line and look at this right here you see this right here this comes with it can you imagine this come with it oh my god and also the corset so you can make these two different colors i just can imagine how creative the fashion art society will this is amazing you can make this a different color you can make the um sorry you can make um the corset a different color you can make this a different color. This is just a it's a built-in corset. That is just amazing. I got that. And I had and I can't believe you got the um the back neck neck waist or something they call it. What's they calling? They calling that the bodice and skirt. This the bodice, yeah. The bodice and skirt, no. Body skirt. Yeah, but this is amazing. What are they calling this thing? Back neck to waist. No, it's what they're calling it. Well, I don't know what they're calling that. I think that's the slip. But I can't get over that. That comes with it. And then I have this. Simplicity 8259. Look at this. This is a new one. I love this. I'm going to make this. That is up my alley. Look at this. And this is the back drawing. The back line. I'm going to love this. Look at that. And also, I got some other patterns. Um, 
that I got at a um, consignment shop I'm going to share with you right here. This right here is a the picture roll review. This is number 5550. This is 1907. This is a one year old little girl dress and it has never been used. This is patent simplicity patent 4839. It's a one year old. A newborn, one year old, and a two year old. Those are line drawings. Also, I have um, this is a grit. This is a grit. I put it over here. This is um, 8084 by So Ripe. Pattern is a um, pattern that doesn't have any lines on it. And this is it. I have a Vogue pattern 7168. This is the blouse or a vest. So this is it right here. And this is 1952. 1952. I was amazed with that one. Also, I got... Simplicity 3337. I love this one. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the line drawings on that. There's no date on that. On that one. Also, I'm amazed with this one. This is a McCall 5257 19. This is a 1920. Is it 1929? I think one of these is 1920. Yeah, 1928. Can I want this dress right here for me? I'm trying to find somebody to um size this up for me. I like that. This also is a McCall doll baby, and this was supposed to have been for um Shirley Temple doll. Isn't this gorgeous? Never been used for a size 22 inch doll. So when I have a granddaughter, I'll be um, using that. I only have a grandson now. This is also McCall 5817. This is for a 10-year-old pattern. Look at that. This is 1929. Size 12, 1929. How great is that? And this one right here is for a 10-year-old. This is McCall 7. Three, three, five. Look at that, and I want this sized up to me, right there. Can you imagine? This is 1933, I think. Let me see. Copyright. Yeah, this is 1933. Look at that. I love that. I want that to be sized up to me. Also, I have the new Excella pattern. I never heard of them. This right here, these was in the 1920s and 30s. This for a little girl. This is another one, E4785. The other one was E4801. This was E4801. This right here is E4785. This is another little girl pattern. Right there. Then, come to the good stuff. This is a new Excella pattern for women in my size. 4849 size 18. Look at that. Look at that detail. And you can use two different color fabric and polka dot. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to have this one made. And this is the Crumb of Resistance. Excella 5253. Look how that goes. I want both of those made. That isn't that gorgeous. Yes, I am flabbergasted. And also, I got um, also Simplicity 8210. This is a size 8, 1970. This is also 83, I mean 8783. 
right here. And this is Simplicity 7996 right here. This is size 8. And this is $79.54. Isn't this gorgeous? This is size 8, I think, or yeah, size 8. And this also right here is a 1960. Right here, this is a Team 8. This is Simplicity um, 4577. Four, right here, this is a Team right here. And I got um, some more. I got um, Vogue. This is 7452, 1970s. And I got 7996, Simplicity, size 8. Look at that. That is awesome. And this also, what I received right here, I got this. This is James McCall. Which was established, the company was established in 1870, and he was the first one to put on the dates. This is the pattern. There's no date on this, and this is never been used, never been, um, it's number 9,000, lady, a 9,000, lady shirt waist, 38 inches right here in bust measurements, and this is the information on the back now in the 1900s he was putting the line drawing on the back so this and look at these sleeves this one you had to put horsehair or mesh in there and these are the buttons it's take 38 buttons see it says 38 buttons let me see 38 yeah 36 buttons and this is the buttons right here it's look at that the detail of that I'm having some a lady in Denmark is going to make this for me. I already traced, traced out the pattern. Look at that detail. But it does not have a date. So I'm thinking that this might be in the 1870s because the patent number is right there, but there's no date. He usually had the date on the back and it was no date. And it's only eight pieces, but you had a line. The um, upper arm had to be lined. And the um, front bodies had to be lined. So, yeah, let me see. Yeah, those two. Yeah, so three um, pieces got to be lined. But isn't that gorgeous? I am loving this. And this is my wall. This is another one. This is the designer um, back in 1916. And see the difference? Those um, sleeves were smaller then this leaves. So I'm thinking this was 1870 around that. In the in the in watering, this is in watering um time. The sleeves were smaller. See the watering times area was 1901 to 1919, and this I think was the Victorian time about the 1870 because those sleeves are way huge. It's a half a half a yard of material for each sleeve. Can you believe that? But back in those days, the fabric cut was 22 inches. It wasn't 45. And they're saying that you only need, um, for 44 inches, you need two and a half, two and a half yards. That's what they're saying for 44 inches. Yep. So this is it. So thank you again. Oh, yes. I have to also show you. I, well, I can show you another time. I got a lot of, um, 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 fabric and all that stuff there too when I went. And, oh yeah, this is another, um, walking skirt I received. This is the walking skirt right here, Folkwear 209. I got this. And I also got 925. This is the, um, 1920. Original Montgomery Wars pattern. Right here. Can you? Yeah, that's it right there. 1920s. And I got the folkwear pattern right here. Is the schoolmaster shirt, waist, and skirt. I love this because I can hem it shorter or longer. I like that. Yeah, so that's it. And this is my room. Okay. Thank you very much. 
for looking at my video. God bless and be safe. Bye.